All right, what's going on, guys? Uh, Lenny and I are back to do another review. Him and I just watched the final Flash trailer. Uh, Lenny, what are you doing over there? Oh, oh, we started. <laughs> yeah, we oh, started. Oh, how about my bad? <laughs> I thought Lenny, I thought Lenny was going to be here, not Barry Allen. I, as I was Flash. channeling my my inner Flash. Sorry, <laughs> <laughs> which I appreciate. Where did you get that fucking thing anyway? You know, a friend of mine happened to have it in their garage and was like, hey, you like superheroes. You want to do something with this? I was like, I'm sure I'll find a reason to to, to have I'm it. Sh- I'm sure it'll sit in my closet until 10 years from now when the Flash movie finally comes out. We'll use it. <laughs> you know, <laughs> it's sort of Flashpoint paradox. I may end up using it. Yes. All right. So um, you watched the trailer. What did you think about it? Dude, I'm actually excited for this movie a little bit now that. You know, it had its moments at first that, you know, caught my attention. I was going to see it just because of all the controversy that's going on with it. But now I'm actually kind of excited. It kind of excited. Michael Keaton's fucking back. Kind of excited. Well, and now now that he's, he's got a whole rundown of bat suits now, like you got Keaton in, in an, it's like a whole movie with Keaton, essentially. Dude, they could have a Michael Keaton movie, do another Batman movie as Michael Keaton in the suit, fucking dusting the bat cave and fucking cooking food and making coffee all day and I'll watch it on the screen just like if would you watch if it was a Clooney suit no <laughs> that's a deal breaker is is there is there band-aids over the nipples <laughs> I don't want to see bad nipples there. yeah alright so uh, we're getting the Flash movie um, this movie is obviously a loose adaption of Jeff John's Flashpoint Paradox so we're getting a version of that in the comic books. Uh, he goes back, saves his mom, and it sets off a chain reaction where instead of Bruce uh, being the lone survivor, Thomas Wayne and Martha Wayne survive, and Bruce is the one who gets killed. In that story, uh, Thomas Wayne becomes like a psychopathic, murdering fucking version of Batman. Martha goes crazy, becomes a Joker. So yeah, that story Rob- went nuts, man. Yeah. Like they they really went ham on a like full-on universe changing Aquaman and Wonder Woman going at each other and destroying the world like it's you know we won't get any of that in the movie unfortunately no but it, it was it was definitely a great story and it'll be nice to see some of those those notes hit hopefully yes. in this movie I that's on a side note that's one of my favorite versions of Batman by the way this is obviously going to be a soft reboot for James Gunn's new version of the DCU. No more Snyderverse, no more of that stuff. So we're going in a completely different direction. This movie will probably end up with a reboot of sorts leading into the next chapter of DC movies. Um, and if you're going to do a reboot, there's no better way to do it than with a time travel. <laughs> oh my God, what just happened? Okay, let's just fix everything. <laughs> yeah, they're figuring out a way to bring back Michael Keaton as Batman, so I'm cool with it. I was kind of hoping, and there's still a chance, I think this movie's going to be super successful, so they might figure out a way to have uh, Keaton be like the Bruce Wayne in Batman Beyond. Do something like that. You could figure out a way to do it. So the trailer opens up with Bruce talking to Barry, uh, how he's trying to right the wrongs of the past as if fighting crime would bring his parents back. Bruce says, you actually did it. So he's kind of like relating uh, his story on like what the death of his parents meant to him and, you know, the redemption he feels when he puts on the cape and cow. Yeah, and, and, you know, Barry was actually able to do the one thing that most, even superheroes with their tragic backstories, wish they could go back and do something to, you know, undo those wrongs that, you know, sent them into that traumatic spin into superherodom. We see Wayne Manor, we see the Batcave, we see the fucking Batwing, we see a crazy-looking, long-haired, elderly Bruce opening up the vault filled with all the bat suits, which is super cool. They already showed it in uh, previous trailers, but we see the suit we're going to be seeing for the rest of the movie in the middle, and all around it, there's, what is there, like seven or eight different suits, six suits or something like that. Six suits, yeah. Yeah. Different callbacks. You got the the Adam West-looking one. You've got Batman Returns. You've got the 89 suit. Some callbacks to the toys with the the Arctic suit and the, uh, the underwater one. So they're they're not holding back when it comes to you know what what Batman's been doing in the past few years, and it, it's it's cool to see uh, in that in the vault you see a version of the eighty nine style suit with the blue and gray. Oh yeah, like it's yeah. They're, they're like I said, they're they're taking all the all the cool suits and and giving them some not even a whole lot of screen time, but just enough to be like, hey, here you go. 
Yeah, yeah. Here's we, a little thing we, you can we've been pause busy on and nerd out. Then. Yeah. <laughs> so after that, we see a flashback of Barry uh, going back to the day of his mom dying. Uh, there's commentary saying you lost both of your parents on the same day, the death of his mom and the framing of his father. We, we don't obviously know he goes to prison and, you know, takes the blame for the death of his mom. And that's one yeah, of Barry's that's... missions to, you know, uh, save the, the respected name of his dad. Yeah, he becomes a CSI, joins the police force, and, you know, everything he does from that moment forward is to prove his father's innocence. Yep, prove his innocence and avenge his mom. This brings Barry back to 2013 uh, when Zod originally attacked Earth in the events of Man of Steel. So it looks like that's where we're going to be going timeline-wise. Uh, we see, like, the desert scene. We see um, Metropolis getting taken over by Zod and that whole thing. I mean, it'll be good to see some redone scenes from that film because you know some of those fight scenes even though they were you know a little heavy on the cgi it was still a really great fight scene so it'll be nice to see oh, another yeah. version of it see i always took the people criticize the fight scenes in that movie i always kind of stuck up for it saying that like they can move so fast that like we can't really comprehend like how that's supposed to look so when yeah. we see them like fighting they're like it's like not flash level speed, but it's still fast enough where us as, you know, normal ass human beings couldn't recognize and, and contemplate what that actually is supposed to look like. So unfortunately, uh, no Henry Cavill. Uh, this timeline, uh, Superman will be, will be replaced by Supergirl. So we'll get Kara instead of Kal-El. You know, the suit looks great. She, the, the actress, from what I can see in the trailers, is doing a great job. So I'm looking forward to see uh, a different, you know, side of, of uh, a Kryptonian. The Supergirl is going to be a little bit um, more rageful, I think. She didn't have the, the Kent upbringing. So that'll definitely, I think, have a, a big distinction between Henry Cavill's Superman and hers. Yeah, I'm excited to see her. They've been kind of teasing her, or teasing the existence of Supergirl since the empty pod from Man of Steel. But yeah. it's cool that we're finally getting her, and she does look, uh, she looks intense. Yeah. She looks intense. And so yeah, she's definitely, we could tell she, in the other trailer, there's like a, a prison break scene. You know what I mean? Like, it looks like it takes place in Russia or something. She has like Russian on uh, her, her prison suit or whatever. So they're kind of doing, in the comic books, they had... Uh, subject one that was like yeah. that version that alternate Superman that was he arrived on earth he was captured he was held in prison with zero sunlight so he never got powerful he was super skinny and uh, so it looks like we're gonna get that version of that just with her locked up you know kept away from the sun and then they break her out yeah we're gonna have Batman and Flash have to you know go and recruit her essentially to you know help them save the day so that'll definitely be uh, fun to kind of get to see them ask her to fight for humanity, who I'm sure has kept her locked up all these years and, you know, kind of give her a reason to fight for the side of good. Yep. And then right after that, we get her saying, I'll help uh, fight Zod. And then we see Keaton say, you want to get nuts? Let's get nuts. You want to get nuts? Let's get nuts. <laughs> Allah, the perfect callback because no one could ever forget that scene where he's just in that office going ham. I'm sure he had a blast like being bad because I guarantee you he didn't he never thought for a second that 30 years fucking later he'd be putting on that suit again. No Absolutely way he reformed he thought I that. I know we sure as hell didn't think that 30 years later we'd be seeing Keaton in a suit again so there's no way he was ready for it. I thought the best we were getting was fucking Birdman. Like alright I got to see him in the suit again, or somewhat similar to it, so... We're talking more about Batman than The Flash. Is this, is this going to be a Batman or a Flash movie? Right. I can't tell. <laughs> Let's be real. The movie is called The Flash. This is a fucking Batman movie, though. Come they on. put two Batman logos at the end <laughs> when they're flashing through all the logos. So, yeah. like, it's more of a Batman movie than it is a Flash movie, because, And you well, know what? Warner Brothers is so fucking relieved that they decided to make this decision like two years ago whenever production started. Because they're like, all right, you know, we'll throw two two versions of Batman in there. And they had no idea that Ezra Miller was going to go fucking out of his mind and do all the shit that he has done. So now everyone's like, yeah, well, Ezra Miller's still in it. But like, there's Michael Keaton right there. Like, he's right there. Just look I, I up Michael like, Keaton. 
I feel like this is a flashpoint version of the movie they actually wanted to make. <laughs> like it started yeah. off as one thing and then the world just went to shit. Ezra Miller went crazy and they were like, well, uh, Michael Keaton's still around, right? Uh, let's just kind of shuffle him in and yeah, pretend yeah. it was our plan you, the whole time. <laughs> you guys want to see Ben Affleck in a blue and gray suit? We'll give you that too. Just ignore Ezra Miller. So right into that, we also see Ben Affleck's Batman in the film. We see more of him. The gray and blue suit, which is fucking great, which is finally great daytime touch. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We we get it up close and personal. We get a close look at it. Um, we see him like uh, on the bat bike. We see him like escaping an explosion, like gliding down using his cape, like flying down. Um, so it looks like he'll probably be in the beginning of the movie before Barry goes back in time because like Bruce gives Barry a whole speech about uh to not let his tragedy define him. And we saw in the trailer before this. That he says you could destroy everything in that same conversation. So this is probably like his his like last minute speech of like trying to like convince him not to do what he's about to do. And Barry's like, sure, sure, I, I promise I won't do it. Yeah, yeah, I got you. I got you. I'm just gonna Pops. go over here and not go through time. So this is where we get a bunch of action shots. Um we see shots of Supergirl fighting Zod. Which looks badass. Like she like fucking takes this long pole and like bangs him against the head. Jabs it right through. Yeah. yeah. Stabilicious. We see shots of Ultimate Flash, uh, who is wearing an old version of the Batman suit. Um, Funko already kind of spoiled it with their version of this and McFarlane Toys released uh their figure of it. Well it looks like it's a Batman return suit, just spray painted to look like a makeshift flash suit, which is a really cool idea. At that point, like, you're going to be in Keaton's Batcave, and you might as well commandeer one of those suits and turn it into something the Flash could rock. Hey, guys, you don't want to see us from Miller, right? But what if we put him in another <laughs> Batman suit? You want more Batman? Here's some more Batman. <laughs> <laughs> so the Flash says uh, he has to undo what he has done. Uh, we see we see the Batwing in action for some really awesome-looking shots. We see, like, uh, we see the desert shot of him in the Batwing. We see more fight scenes with Batman uh, blocking a bunch of bullets with his cape, which looks like he's taking like a lot of bullets on. I'm, so I'm this glad is cool. Like, that, yeah, he's ready for the bulletproof action. He, he's yeah, been, yeah. you know, prepped and ready as Batman usually is. We're gonna see a lot of Batman in this not Batman movie. This scene's really cool. This is uh, taken out of the, the Man of Steel movie when uh, he jumps on the 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 jet fighter and just pulls out the pilot and like throws him. But we see yeah. him land on top of the Batwing and like pull the cockpit off, and like Batman just jumps out, puts his cape out, and glides down. And unfortunately, this is probably the another Batwing getting destroyed. <laughs> but I'm not gonna lie, like once he hit, once those wings extended, I was like, oh yes, come on, just glide, just like yeah, yeah, yeah. They're, they're doing so much cool like glidey business with with all the suits nowadays. I'm I'm here for it because in Batman Returns we saw him like pop the wings up. And like glide down, but like the CG wasn't there yet, and you know it wasn't a very long scene. But as a kid, I thought it was awesome. But when you look at it now, it kind of doesn't work as good as it should. But now we get you know the '89 Batman, the Batman Returns Batman with today's CG, and like you Oof. said, bring it all on, bring it all on. I'm here for this Flash. I mean Batman. I mean Flash movie. So the uh, the trailer's wrapping up, and just like you said before, we see the Burton. Batman symbol, we see the Batman v Superman Batman symbol, the Superman symbol, and then the Flash logo pop up for the title of the movie. For this not it's, Batman movie. Yeah, like they're they're clearly not promoting Batman at all for this. No, no, no. They're not hoping <laughs> that Batman is gonna save Ezra Miller in this not Batman movie. <laughs> it's not their saving grace as it usually is at the box office. <laughs> you know what, man? Like it it kind of sucks because like uh obviously he's he's he did a good enough job where they didn't want to like recast him and like reshoot all of his scenes. I mean they'd have to redo the whole fucking movie. And if we got another Michael Keaton movie scrapped like how we did with Batgirl, I'd be fucking furious. This point we've already had to wait a long time for this movie as is. So there was yeah. no way they were going back to the drawing board a seventh time. The trailer ends with Batman telling both flashes as they are strapped to parachutes and Barry says, where's yours? And Batman just drops. And you see him, he's like skydiving straight down and you see the Batwing in the background lit up by the moon. And it's super reminiscent to the uh, Batman 89 and Batman Returns. Oh yeah. 
the shot Super. of of the Batwing in the moon is fucking breathtaking. No matter how it's many iconic. times I see it, and yeah. and I as soon as I saw it, that was one of the things I took a picture of just to look at it again. I was like, ah, oh, that's just fucking pretty. Yeah. So that was um uh, the Flash, Batman, the Flash final trailer for the Flash. I mean Batman. I mean Flash Batman. movie. That's coming out in June. So can't wait for that. Yeah, 16th. Yeah, it's coming. It's right around the corner. And uh, I get to sit in a theater and see a new Michael Keaton Batman movie in The Flash. Obviously, but it's still I, a I Batman think... movie. <laughs> that's that's going to be most of the reason why people are going to see that. It's like, oh, Michael Keaton's going to be Batman in this Flash movie. I have to go see it. <laughs> oh, dude, this, this movie's going to make bank. This movie's going to kill oh, in the box 100%. office. 100%. Hundred percent, this movie is going to kill it in the box office. Keaton as Batman is the the big selling point. <laughs> yeah, I mean this this movie I think would have made a shitload of money even if it was just Ben Affleck's Batman. But you sign on Keaton's Batman to come back, fuck you. I'll be there. Game changer. Now I did hear there's some blink if you miss it cameos. Um, there's supposed to be a nod to uh, Nicolas Cage as Superman for when he was cast back in the day. Um, there's supposed to be uh, a George Clooney little cameo, uh, so that'll be nice to to look for. There's also rumors of Christian Bale being somewhere in there. You see, know, I wouldn't be surprised. Those are the kind of those are the kind of things that I'll believe when I see it. Because I I can't I can't picture to... them. You really picture them bringing back Nicolas Cage and be like, here, we want you to come back and wear the Superman suit that you wore for test footage, fucking like 20 years ago. And Chloe, well, to be honest, watch you come back. He Just he don't looks, shake your head. He looks like the Flashpoint Superman that like skinny, long haired, like I've been in prison kind of Superman. So like in an alternate alternate version, I could fucking see it. To pull out the credit card, get him a new suit. <laughs> yeah, pull out the credit card, give me a fucking refund if he's in it for more than two seconds. <laughs> That's the final trailer for the Flash. And I know I'll be there to see it. You'll be there to see it. And chances are we will probably be back to talk about it. Can't wait for it. And until then, guys, appreciate you coming out, hanging out with us. If you like the stuff we're doing, like, share, comment, subscribe, all that good stuff. Lenny, pleasure as always, dude. Appreciate you hanging out again. Anytime, man. Thanks for having me. Till the next one, guys. Later. Later.